one aircraft, many capabilities. Lockheed Martin 730 Hercules is the world's premier tactical airlifter and has been in steady use over half a century at various locations for every theater of operations and evolving requirements. The Hercules possesses unmatchable flexibility and versatility. Due to its mission capability, with range and flexibility, C-130 has earned a reputation as workhorse. Ready for any mission, anytime, anywhere. The irreplaceable Hercules goes where other aircraft don't. It lands where other aircraft don't. No matter the mission is, no matter the risk is, C-130 has done it. Availability of the fleet for such operations depend heavily on the efficiency and effectiveness of the maintenance, repair and overhaul activities. The inspection program to ensure sustainment of legacy fleet has faced increasing workload due to structural issues because of high tempo operations and aging materials. To sustain the transport fleet of Pakistan Air Force, Number 130 Air Engineering Depot was established, offering extensive MRO services with a special focus on excellence in self-reliance. This facility has played a key role in maintaining C-130 transport aircraft of Pakistan Air Force for more than two decades. It was in early 80s that the manufacturer realized that these aircrafts are aging and uh, they need uh, a special package of inspection to ensure safety of this aircraft. This was a serious problem and we didn't have the hangar and other wherewithal to do this job. So what happened that our aircraft had to be sent abroad and they went to places as far as Peru and Singapore. The urgency of situation demanded that we get into action immediately. But Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, the dedicated effort of the team and support from Pakistan Air Force ensured that the first aircraft which was inducted in 92 was produced in March 93. We gained the confidence that we could do it. With the induction of six ex-Royal Australian Air Force C-130 aircraft, a second hangar was made in 2009 to enhance the capacity from one to two docks. In PDM overall process, after acceptance checks, complete aircraft is depainted to provide aid in NDT inspections. After removing the outer wings, horizontal and vertical tail, the structural inspections are carried out and all the system components fed to shops for bench check. Repair and rectification phase of aircraft starts simultaneously Rigging and functional checks of the flight control and landing gear systems are compiled after completion of the installation and the rectification phase. Upon completion of functional checks, the aircraft is handed over for the corrosion preventive program. After verification by a quality team, the aircraft is subjected to taxi test and finally the functional check flight. Now, number 130 Air Engineering Depot, who has carved a niche in four core areas. Replacement of major critical structural items requiring precision and accuracy. Non-destructive inspection using five different techniques. Corrosion prevention and control program and upholstery replacement. Over a period of two decades, Dipu has gained expertise to undertake repair and replacement of major critical structural members involving precision and accuracy. Few major structural members are worth highlighting. Rainbow fitting with the help of outer wing is attached with the center wing. Center wing to fuselage attach angle with the help of center wing box attached with the fuselage and main landing gear beams. PDM inspection of C-130 aircraft lays major emphasis on early detection of structural cracks. In this regard, non-destructive inspection techniques are employed to ascertain the health of the aircraft structure. 
For this purpose, NDI lab was established at number 130 AD from the onset of the unit. NDI inspectors are level 1 and level 2 qualified at all NDI techniques, that is, eddy current testing, radiographic testing, ultrasonic testing, liquid penetrant testing, visual and optical testing, and magnetic particle inspection. Effective corrosion prevention program is implemented during overall process, which includes complete depainting of aircraft and its component for NDT inspections. The TIPU also undertake refurbishment of flight deck and cargo compartment upholstery in accordance with Federal Aviation Authority regulations. Apart from the basic role of PDM inspection of Pakistan Air Force C-130 aircraft fleet, the DIPU has always endeavored to achieve self-reliance, enhance its own capabilities. Few important achievements a compass undertook floor modification on both C-130B and E model aircraft, thus enhancing ISR capability of Pakistan Air Force. Said capability has played a major role during war against terror. and has directly affected the success of Operation Zarbiyaz. <laughs> Conducted three PDM inspection of allied countries at foreign land. Carried out survey and forwarded proposals to allied countries for compliance of PDM inspections and restoration of their C-130 aircraft. Conducted outer wing improvement program on E-model aircraft. Major structural part of the wing box were replaced and a life extension of 5,000 flight hours was granted to the wings. Complied another special entity inspection package name as a widespread fatigue damage inspection. After ascertaining the structural health, aircraft were cleared for continued operations for another two years. DAPU has also gained expertise in defining manufacturing process of structural parts for their indigenous manufacturing. Pakistan Air Force has also gained expertise in avionics upgrade program. Prototype avionics upgrade on PFC 130E model aircraft was run in 2007 by Lockheed Martin and its facility. The serial modification on the rest of the 10 C 130s was accomplished by Pakistan Air Force at PF Base Nur Khan in 2007 to 2011. This venture helped Pakistan Air Force to achieve technical expertise that has enabled us to undertake various upgrades on present fleet locally. Air transport operations have evolved over the years. They've always made us very proud. Whether it was the wars of 1965 and 71, relief operations, or more recently, the ISR operations, the war against the terrorists, they put up an excellent show, always. Recently, while the F-16 and other fighter jets were doing hard kills, it could not have been possible if the C-130 crew were not able to identify the targets and participate wholeheartedly into the real-time operations. You made us very proud. These operational achievements were not possible if the engineering support was not forthright and available all the time. While day in, day out, the flight lines worked and made the aeroplanes available, 130 AD was all the time available overalling the aeroplanes. This facility was established in 1993 and evolved over a period of time, starting from the overall facility to the outer wing replacements and various other structural mods and the avionics mods, 130 AD has put up its mark. And today, not only in Pakistan, but a lot of friendly countries are depending on us on overall of C-130 aircraft. We stand very proud of this facility and a job well done. In little over two decades, number 130 AD has achieved a milestone of overalling 50 Hercules. 
in country overhauling has resulted in saving of huge amount of foreign exchange from Pakistan Air Force budget with additional benefit of reduction in aircraft grounding time. In addition, compliance of PDM inspection at regular intervals has improved operational readiness of C-130 fleet, thus enhancing air mobility to undertake ever-increasing operational commitments of Pakistan Air Force. Despite overcoming impediments and challenges of maintaining vintage fleet of C-130 aircraft, Number 130AD remains committed to further enhances capabilities to emerge as one of the largest organic facilities of PDM inspection of C-130 aircraft.